Scott Geekus with Walsh Trading is in Chicago at the CME Group, and he joins us to talk about all of these markets here this morning. Uh, you know, last night's overnight trade was quite a bit higher. We're still seeing a little bit of that carry through, except for the Chicago wheat market here so far. Yeah, well, the biggest thing that we're watching right now was the the rhetoric back and forth with the headlines with the trade war talks. So on Friday, we had China did not go to visit the farms. They pulled out a little bit early, left a little bit early. On Friday, the market viewed that as bearish. So we had a big pullback on Friday. After the market closed, they came out and said positive trade war talks were moving progressively. So that's why you've seen the overnight market yesterday, as well as a little bit of carry through today to the upside. So <clears throat> it's just public perception on what the headlines are actually coming out at. So with China pulling out from the face-to-face -face meeting and visiting the farms, that was initially viewed as bearish. After the digestion came out with the market, it was viewed as positive. We've seen a pop in the overnight market, a little bit of follow-through today as well. Scott, do you get the feel that maybe corn is positioning itself to go up here and close this gap up here in the 390s? Well, we have to wait and see. Typically, this time of the year is where we put in a seasonal bottom. But we have a lot of things that are in the mix here. So we have pod weights for beans, ear weights for corn, as well as everyone's expecting the, uh, the yield estimates to be lowered. So we have to wait until those numbers actually come out. The pod weights and ear weights are a little bit optimistic, especially with the, with the where the yields are. But if the yields come off, we expect a little bit of a bump up in price as well. So we have to wait and see how that's really going to play out. All right. Well, we'll take a break and come back and visit more with Scott Geekus on the other side of this break and uh, discuss what's going on over in the protein complex. That's next here on the Market Day Report. Scott, what do you think about this protein complex? Uh, are, can we say that the lows are in for at least for the near term? Uh, for the near term, it looks that way. So in the cattle market, <clears throat> everyone was worried about the backup fears. The slaughter rate's still holding steadily, so that back of fears is starting to wean off. Now, with the funds being near record short levels, this market has a very big subject to short covering. And it only takes about a little bit of volume to increase that short covering, and then you're going to see a big spike and everyone's just going to panic and, and reverse their shorts. So I think it's very interesting, though, with the cattle on feed, in the placements, it was lower than last year, which hasn't happened since 2016. So that's kind of a bull's catalyst as well. So you're seeing a lot of different moving parts in the cattle market with the funds being near record short levels and then a lot of positive news, bullish fundamentals. So we're expecting that short covering to happen pretty soon. We just have to wait for that trigger to happen to get that confirmation for us. In the hog market, it's a completely different story. Uh, fundamentals are bullish. The charts are bullish. However, you still have a pretty much sideways action just due to the trade war talks. So we're still waiting for the trade war talks to come out, have some type of direction based on that. But at the same time, we have no idea what the trade war talks are going to be. We come, They come out and they say they're positive. Then Trump comes out and says, well, we're not really pressed to get a deal before the election. So we have no idea what's really going to happen with that. Well, you know, uh, you've been, and a lot of us in the trade, uh, a lot of folks in the trade anyway, have been, we've been hearing a lot of that same thing over and over. We've got to wait and see what happens with the trade discussions. That uh, seems like a long time. We're still waiting, but uh, maybe we're getting a little bit closer. Scott, thanks a lot. Scott Geekus in Chicago at the CME Group with Walsh Trading. All right. Thank you, John Jenkinson. Yes, Appreciate that.